Hey Libra, welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, um, yeah, there's something I want to say. Oh, um, <clears throat> please keep in mind, <laughs> sorry guys, had a bit of a brain fart there. Please keep in mind that these are general readings. Yes, I am going to just be telling the story as I see it, but um, please apply this in any way that it resonates with you, okay? It's not necessarily just the way I'm saying it. This is a general reading and reading for a lot of different people. So again, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, and apply it to your situation as it resonates with you. On the other hand, don't, um, or, or uh, try not to force it to fit. If it doesn't really fit, like right away, if you don't feel like it fits right away, let it go. Okay, but if you do feel like it's fitting, it does resonate with you in some way, but it's not necessarily being told the way I'm physically saying it, just apply it to however, you know, however it applies to you. Okay, use your intuition and your discretion there. <clears throat> I am available for uh, private readings. All of the readings that I have listed in the description box below do not have to be applied strictly to a twin flame or a romantic relationship, okay? Any situation that you have in your life that you would like to get greater clarity on can be applied to any of the readings that I have available, okay? So let's get into this uh, for Libra. Uh, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra at this time, during this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, I have added Venus into the channeling message just because, you know, love is on our minds, guys. We all want love, so we might as well bring the messages forward if they're there for us. Yeah, yeah. Libra. Libra. You guys feel very calm right now. Like you're, you're like, yeah, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more shuffle for you, Libra. Okay, cut the deck. All right, Libra, your overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So the first thing I'm getting is there is a missed opportunity. Something didn't go right. Something didn't go the way it was planned. Um, something fell through. Ooh, well, that's not so fun. Um, <clears throat> we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so there could be a business opportunity that didn't go through. There were, there may have been, um, you know, some sort of opportunity to work together with something, with someone on something, and that fell through. You may have been trying to start a business. And that, for, for, for those of you that are dealing with a business opportunity, like an entrepreneurial business opportunity, it's not like it fell through. It's just like something's blocking it right now. We also have the lovers in reverse. but And then finally we have the princess or the page of pentacles. So, ooh, wow. Okay, um, that, <laughs> that totally turned the energy upside down or at least reversed it. Now, um, the lovers in reverse is saying that there was some sort of imbalance here uh, within yourself. If we're talking about a business opportunity, there was a, there was an imbalance within yourself that uh, facilitated the the um, uh, missing whatever this opportunity is. But I want to stress that ultimately this is <clears throat> not as bad as you think. It's actually a lesson that you're learning right now. And this is why we have the page or the princess of pentacles upright underneath everything else. And this is why I said, oh wow, that totally turned the energy like totally upside down because this is a lesson for you. This is a learning experience. And especially when it comes to entre entrepreneurship or some sort of business opportunity, this is a lesson that is going to help you immensely in the long run like it may feel like you're starting out anew again with the page of pentacles but in reality you're just leveling up okay you're you're gaining a new perspective and now you can step out yeah as the page of pentacles but as a stronger more wise um intelligent page of pentacles right very very good um i want to see maybe if there's something else you know, the lovers can talk about a love relationship too, um, maybe even a twin flame relationship. 
and maybe somebody um, wanted a new start, wanted a chance to um, work together to rebuild something and the lovers is saying it's just, it's not the right time right now because things are out of balance, okay? Moving forward, in the storyline, we yeah, there's the Six of Cups, there's that soulmate, oof, and the Emperor in reverse. Um, talking to Twin Flames here for a second. Divine Masculine is here with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. We also could be talking about an Aries. Uh, um, the Lovers is Gemini. Um, I'm just throwing that out there because it could potentially resonate with somebody. Um, but the Divine Masculine in this situation is very, very controlling. The Divine, he, he, he or she does see the, the connection between the two of you with the Six of Cups here, but they're trying really hard to control it, to control every aspect of it um, in order to say, to preserve themselves, you know, in order to preserve their image. Um, and that's not fair. That's really not fair. So if this is what you're dealing with, uh, Libra, or if, like, if you are this person, the Divine Masculine Libra, or if, if, um, Libra, you are, you're like to say the Divine Feminine and this and whatever, um, my advice is to just step back, pull away from that. Um, now, granted, we do need to go through a period of separation, so that's kind of what this is speaking to, but, uh, you know, on an energetic le level, even if this isn't a twin flame situation, if, even if this is just a deep soulmate situation, d pull back from that. Do not allow someone to control you like that, because the more you allow them to do that at this point, the, the stronger <laughs> that, you know, the, the stronger that element to your relationship is going to be. And it's going to be that much harder to get out of it later, you know, to, to correct it later. So nip it in the bud right now. Okay. But someone here is being very controlling when it comes to a situation with a, with a soulmate or a twin flame. All right. Um, and this is why some part of the scenario could be the person that is being controlling here was trying to create a new situation or a new um, a new start, a fresh start. But because they were so controlling about it, it kind of blew up in their face, right? Um, or conversely, you could have been trying to create a new start with somebody, but this is why I'm saying the timing was just not right because this other person just wants to manipulate everything to a T and to make it look a certain way than what it truly is. They're afraid of the truth of this situation and for you, Libra, that's not something that's desirable at all. And I think you see that. You're like, what do you mean you don't, what? But this is what it really is. Why don't you want to honor that? But that's because they have, they're trying to keep up appearance. They're trying to keep a good face on something, you know? Uh, for some reason, they feel like this isn't the way it, quote, should be. And so now they're going to try and shape it into what it should be. When in reality, it, you, Libra, just want it to be what it is. Okay, moving forward, we have Ten of Swords. Yeah, so Libra, this is you moving away from that. This is you saying enough is enough. I'm done being backstabbed and I'm done being controlled with the Hermit in reverse. So the Hermit in reverse is also saying to you that you got to look deep within yourself too. Because yeah, you might be done with this, but you're not still quite aware of why this is happening, why this has been manifested in your life. Now, we're talking to soulmates here. On this level, you need to learn a lesson of um, that which you believe about yourself and that which you focus on and what your thoughts are, are directed towards is that, which, is that which you will manifest in your life. So don't sit there and blame this other person to death about, oh, they did this, they did that, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, you have some responsibility in this too, Libra. <laughs> and the people that I'm talking to that are resonating with this part of the message right now have known that for a long time. And this is also why the lovers is in reverse, okay? Because you have an imbalance within yourself. You're not really listening to yourself for some reason. You're having trouble facing the truth about something. And for Libra, that is unusual, but it's also, as a human being, it's understandable, 
Why? Because the hardest thing we will ever face in this world is ourself. Oof. That resonated with, I feel that in my heart so hard. That really resonated with some of you. But this is a good thing, all right? Don't, don't look at it like you're a failure. You're not a failure. No, and I, heard, I just heard someone say, because I am. No, you're not a failure. You're not. You're going through this. You're learning. All of this is a learning process. All of this is an experience, okay? So no matter what, you can't really fuck it up too bad. You can't. You really cannot. All you can do is learn the lessons from the missteps that you've made and take those with you as you move forward, okay? I keep getting drawn to the emperor and this wheel that he's holding in his hand. I wonder if the Wheel of Fortune is going to come up. Why don't we take a look and see? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse with the Three of Swords in reverse. So, yeah. Um... For some, I'm still, we're still on the, the soulmate tip here. Someone really messed up. <laughs> someone really, really messed up. The queen of pentacles in reverse is not someone that's easy to turn. Uh, I'm sorry. The queen of pentacles is not someone that's easy to turn reversed. She is very stable and solid. She's very understanding of, of physical circumstances. She's very understanding of why certain things happen the way they do. And so as a result of that, you can't, it's, it's pretty difficult to turn her around, to, to, to get her to be in a reversed state. However, somebody did some, someone was way too controlling, way too controlling. And let me tell you, that Queen of Pentacles is an independent being. She is not going to let anyone tell her what to do or how to do it, quite honestly, in many cases. Now that could be her stubbornness, sure, but she's like that for a reason. She is in, she's an individual, she is an independent person man or woman, okay? This is like the ultimate embodiment of the nine of pentacles, all right? But now in this case, the three of swords is here because someone was way too controlling about it. But what I'm picking up is, and this is why, and this is why I was saying that someone really messed up because she's looking at it like, uh, yeah, all right, three of swords energy. Okay, yeah, been here before, but I'm not broken up about it anymore. I'm just gonna move on. And good luck trying to get me to come back to you. Good luck trying to get me to even acknowledge you again. I am so done with this fucking Three of Swords energy. I'm so done with it. Okay? Whoever this is, either this is you, Libra, saying it, or this is this person that's around you. Either way, somebody messed up. And I'm not, I'm really not sure this is ever going to be rekindled. So this is, this is really just a lesson. This is a big lesson here. Sometimes we really have to lose something that we're really, really love, that we really love in order to really get the message. That's just it, plain and simple. Um, but don't get me wrong, like, the, we, because I am feeling like this is soulmate energy right now that I'm talking about, talk, that I'm speaking to. Ultimately, this... This is what a soulmate is for us. There's someone that helps us learn things, helps fulfill a contract. So if you find yourself in a position where this situation with this person is absolutely over, just understand that it's over because you have reached the end of your contract with each other, okay? So now it's time to take the lessons that you learned and move forward, yeah? Next, we have the 10 of pentacles. Okay, yeah, with the queen of cups. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So the Ten of Pentacles is absolutely speaking to taking the lessons that you learned and moving forward. The Queen of Cups is saying now coming to a state of emotional um, maturity, um, being, um, being in tune with your emotions and your intuition. Whatever happened, transpired in this situation has helped you come to terms with a lot of things about yourself and a lot and help you connect with your emotions on a greater level, which ultimately is going to bring you greater in, uh, material fulfillment. Now, getting back into the twin flame situation, the Queen of Pentacles is also referring to a karmic situation. Now, I'm not really looking to dig deeper, dig really into a karmic situation. I no longer offer karmic readings, uh, readings on karmic partnerships, because I do not feel, in my mode of detachment here, I do not feel it's really any of my business what, what's going on between my twin and, and his karmic situation. And 
that's just a form of detachment. So in honor of that, I'm not offering karmic readings any longer. But what's happening here, for those of you that are in a twin flame situation, one of you is really finally releasing this attachment to the karmic situation represented by the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, both in reverse. It's being released now. Something, there may have been some sort of situate, aha, some of you tried to rekindle a relationship with your karmic partner. And it didn't go too well. It kind of blew up in your face is what I'm hearing. But ultimately, this is a good thing. Why? Because it's removing this aspect from your life. You have learned some a deeper truth about yourself. Now you're, and this is uh, mostly for like divine masculines, you are coming into greater, uh, re, uh, greater um, acceptance of your femininity, of your intuition. <laughs> I am literally hearing and seeing some of you divine masculines who have been working, struggling to connect with your feminine energies and your intuition. I'm seeing your feminine energy standing in front of you with her arms crossed like, I've been standing here the whole time trying to guide you with what to do and you didn't want to listen to me. And now you've got this big old mess in front of you that you have to try and clean up. <laughs> But she's saying it lovingly. She really is. This is not an ego thing. This is this is kind of like a to I told you so moment, but it's an I told you so moment with a bit of cheekiness because ultimately this is going to lead you to that ultimate material fulfillment that you have been looking for. What you thought you had in this karmic relationship was a false reality. And now you're in a position to great bring to really bring the true reality of what you want into being. And it's all because you're you're connected with this Queen of Cups within. Um, also, for some divine masculines um, who find their divine feminines not really like pulling back and not really communicating with them, this is mostly on a 5D level. If you feel like your your divine feminine has really uh, you know taken a step back and is keeping her emotions for the most part um, to herself, there is a reason for that. But don't be afraid because ultimately this is helping you guys come closer together and bringing you this Ten of Pentacles energy. All right, Libra. Moving forward, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Prince or the Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. um, someone wants to move forward with a message. Someone is in a little bit of a crisis with their spirituality. Um, there's a lot of questioning happening. You want to be able to have this wand, to pick up this wand and, and you know, blaze forward into glory and righteousness, but you just don't know how. Um, your foundation has really been shaken up with whatever happened here for you. Um, and so this is really just you as a spiritual warrior questioning, questioning your faith, questioning your um, intentions, questioning your connection, questioning your sanity even. I know exactly what this feels like. I went through the same thing recently. But it's all just a test. It's really all just a test. And ultimately you will find, you will find that, you will regain that connection. But whew, yeah, that doesn't feel too good. I get it. But it's, it's a necessary step. You know, uh, through this discomfort, you will grow in a greater sense of yourself, okay? Moving forward, we have oof, the devil with the king of pentacles in reverse. Mm. I'm trying to figure out who this is. Is this you, Libra, or is this someone else? There is someone around you that's incredibly manipulative with the devil and the king of pentacles here. All they want is, ah, yeah, all they want is money, status. This could be that person that was trying to control things too much. Um, they're really stuck in some, some awful, awful devil energy. There could be a false twin around is what I'm picking up now with the Emperor in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. And that is being um, clarified by the Devil and the King of Pentacles. Manipulative, spiteful, angry even. Really just after material status. Um, 
And if that's the case, you know, the divine, the, the feminine energy within you, whether this is the divine feminine or this is a divine masculine, the feminine energy in you is helping you come to terms with that. I'm kind of seeing that you have kind of manifested this situation for yourself, Libra, so that you can come to the terms, come to terms with the fact that this person is just not, is not with it. Okay, is very much caught in the devil energy. I'm kind of even picking like picking up like the devil incarnated himself, but that's not really fair. Well, I just heard yes, it is in some situations. Um, but ultimately, you're seeing it, and this person, this this situation has served to help you. Yes, put you in a state where you're you're questioning your connection and you're questioning your spirituality and your sanity even. But ultimately, this person, this is just like one of those soul contracts that I was talking about before. This person came into your life as a karmic partner to help illuminate these discrepancies within yourself and your belief system so that you can reach this questioning aspect. And it needed to be questioning on a really deep level. This is why this is such a heavy situation. But it needed to be deep enough for you to really come to the to the real core issues that need to be reformatted, okay? So ultimately, this is a good thing. It just doesn't look like a good thing on the surface, but ultimately, it's serving the balance between yourself, okay? Moving forward, we have aw, the King of Cups with the Eight of Wands. So look, guys, someone's going to be trying to send a message. The Divine Masculine here is trying to send a message. Um... You might want to send a message, Libra. Even if you're a divine feminine, you're you're really connecting with your masculine energies and you know wanting to reach out. Follow follow your higher self. Follow your inner guidance. Um, but what I'm saying, what I'm also picking up here is for those of you that were uh, in, intertwined with a false twin. Now that you're seeing the truth of the situation and you're doing the work to redefine. Um, yourself and these discrepancies that need to be reformatted, now that will leave space for a divine partner, a divine masculine or whatever to make their way towards you. I am seeing with the eight of wands, I'm seeing a clear space for this person to just really zoom right in and all of a sudden there they are, yeah? I'm not saying that this person is going to come into your life within this period of the 15th to the 31st. This period of time is really more about the introspection that needs to happen and the reformatting that needs to happen to open the doors for this movement or this person to come forward in your life, okay? Finally, for you, Libra, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress. We're definitely talking Twin Flames here for the most part. Um... But also, overall, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, coupled with the Empress, is seeing the imbalance between give and take in relationships um, and now having a fertile ground to really fix that, to grow new fruit in this area of your life. And that absolutely starts with giving to yourself first. This is a big message that the Empress is saying right now. You have to to be willing and able to give to yourself first before you can ever really hope to receive anything of value from anyone else. Why? Because in order to receive value, you need to be in the, in the uh, uh, vibration of value. And the easiest way to get into that vibration is to treat yourself the way you want to be treated by others. And I'm not saying you haven't given value to others in the past, but you were not in a, in, in, in a vibration to receive that value back for whatever reason, all right? Whatever is relevant to you. But that's what's happening right now. You're coming to terms with that and you're, you're really setting the course for that which you wish to receive, okay? You are cleaning up your garden you're cleaning up your environment in order to bear better fruit yeah so um i just realized something i didn't catch this before but now i see it we are definitely talking about twin flames here number one we have the lovers number two we have the empress number three we have the emperor okay and we've got all the depiction we've got most of the depictions here um now, the Emperor, which is symbolizing the Divine Masculine, has the Six of Cups in reverse. And the Divine Masculine himself is in reverse. For the Divine Feminine, we have the Empress with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, <laughs> and then the Lovers is card number six. 
So in the in the major arcana. So I mean, like we've got a lot of love energy here. We also have the counterparts in the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. My goodness, why didn't I see this before? There was so much coming at me that I really didn't see this before. We've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Guys, this is intense. So, um, on a twin flame level, Divine Masculine in this situation for you, Libra, whether this is you or this is your, your, your um, Divine Partner, the Divine Masculine is in a state where they are um, understanding, coming to a deeper understanding of uh, this relationship. And they're starting to realize that they can't control the relationship. Conversely, the Empress or the Divine Feminine in this situation is getting a hard lesson in give and take. And now, especially if, you know, you guys, you Libra, were trying to reconnect um, you wanted this new start with the Ace of Pentacles and then the Divine Masculine in this situation just controlled and manipulated it to death. I mean, there is your lesson in give and take, Divine Feminine. Because one, this is not a one-sided story. One person cannot control this whole thing. So in essence, Divine Masculine in this situation was just trying to take and take and take for their own benefit to keep things the way they think it should be, when in reality, that is not how this is gonna work. It can't work that way, okay? So Divine Masculine in this situation is um, really at odds, and this is why he's re he's reversed. Um, he's really at odds with this connection because he's in, what I'm picking up from the energies of this situation is he's so, he's so used to be able to control things that he's like, well, now what do I do? I have this connection with this person, but I can't control it the way I used to, and that leaves me vulnerable. Ugh, well. <laughs> well, welcome to the Divine Feminine's world. Vulnerability, right? Uh, for you, Divine Feminine, you are upright, so this is a good thing, but you are holding on to your emotions with the Queen of Cups. You're holding on to your emotions, but your your focus is on the Ten of Pentacles, the ultimate fulfillment of this material reality, whatever that means for you. And in this case, also, the Divine Masculine is upright with the King of Cups. Thankfully, the Divine Masculine is upright by this time in the story and could be looking to, um, to make a move. Now, the, the king and queen of pentacles here is talking to, is speaking to karmic relationships. In some situations, the divine masculine is still very much attached to this devil energy and is in resistance to letting go of it. Whereas the divine feminine here is like, oh yeah, is kind of resisting letting go of the heartbreak in the three of swords. You must um, release the view of who your, your divine feminine or divine masculine is. Because the more you focus on who they are to you in this moment, how they have uh, uh, presented themselves as time has gone on throughout this journey between the two of you, the more you focus on that, the more of that you're going to get. Okay, so you got to just let that go. And Divine Feminine, you're kind of having trouble letting go of, number one, the karmic relationship that your Divine Masculine is in or the karmic relationship that you're in. And number two, you're having trouble letting go of the heartbreak that has come through this situation. But in order to move forward with this connection, you have to. And you have to start seeing things in a different light. All right, guys. All right, Libra. There it is. There is your reading. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Please, um, if you would like to get a reading, please reach out and let me know, and I will be more than happy to help you. Um, again, this is a general reading, so please, and I feel like we were really all over the place with this one. There was a lot of different things coming through here. Um, but if you want greater clarity, please don't hesitate to, to hit me up, email me, and we can discuss, yeah? Much love to you, Libra, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the first half of May. In the meantime, take care and much love to you. Bye.